Hello everyone, my name is Suman Dua and I'm a registered migration agent at Nationwide Migration and Education. We make new videos every week in regards to Australian migration and if you are interested in this topic, you may wish to subscribe to our channel. In this video, I will be answering some of the questions from our subscribers relating to studying in Australia. So the first one is, I would like to enroll my wife. She has completed her bachelor's in health science from India and wants to pursue master's in laboratory science in Australia. Please guide us. So you will have to study an accredited master's course and there are a couple of regional universities who offer this master's of medical laboratory science and you require a minimum overall score of 6.5 with no band less than 6 in IELTS or equivalent test. Now, since these are regional universities, you will be able to get a longer temporary graduate visa. The occupation is Medical Laboratory Scientist, which is on the MNT SSL list. It is available for 189, 190 and 491 visa. The next one that I have is, please suggest some diploma courses where we can get skills assessment without any work experience. So some of these courses are Advanced Diploma in Information Technology, where the occupation is Telecommunications Network Planner, Diploma of Community Services, Occupation Outcome is Community Worker, Diploma in Nursing, where you become an enrolled nurse, or the Advanced Diploma of Civil Construction Design, where you become a Civil Engineering Craftsperson. So all these occupations are either on the MLTSSL or STSOL list, which will give you the opportunity to apply for either 189, 190 or 491 visa. So the third question that I have is, am I able to do a trade course on my temporary graduate visa subclass 485? Yes, you will be able to study a trade course on your 485 visa. The temporary graduate visa subclass 485, it comes with full study rights and full work rights. So you can do a one year trade course and then you will also be able to do a job ready program, which is also for 12 months. And your 485 visa is usually two to three years or longer depends where you have studied your first course. You may also want to consider studying a trade course in the last semester of your higher degree concurrently so that by the time you get your 485 visa, you would have finished a trade course. And then once you get your 485 visa, you're ready to start a job ready program. Many students who opt to do a trade course on the 485 visa is because maybe the occupation outcome of the study that they have done is not on the occupation demand list of Australia or the points requirement is very high for the occupation that they have already got a skills assessment in. So with trade courses and with a trade occupation, you may get invited at low points and most states have the trade occupations open for a 190 or the 491 visa nomination. If you're planning to do a trade course on your 485 visa, then the smart way to do that could be that you do the course wherever you are, doesn't matter which state you are in at the moment, but for the job ready program, you may want to consider moving to a state where your occupation is open and where you could meet the requirements for the 190 or the 491 visa. Question number four that I have is, how can I become a teacher in Australia and how can I meet the English requirement for the registration? So you could study a bachelor's in education, which is for four years, or a master's in teaching, which is for two years, and you could choose your major as early childhood teacher, primary teacher, or secondary teacher. You could also study a graduate diploma in early childhood teaching, as long as you have completed a bachelor's degree before. If you're someone who has Australian bachelor's degree or equivalent, then you may consider graduate diploma in early childhood teaching, which is for one year duration. Now, there are two options available to demonstrate your English language proficiency when you're ready to apply for a registration as a teacher in Australia. Option one is completion of at least four full years of study or part-time equivalent in higher education, university in Australia, Canada, the Republic of Ireland, New Zealand, the United Kingdom or the United States of America, resulting in qualifications comparable to the educational level of an Australian bachelor's degree, which is the Australian Qualification Framework Level 7 or higher. This study must include a recognized initial teacher education qualification. There is also another option, which is an academic version of the International English Language Testing System, IELTS, test report form that shows a score of at least 7 for both reading and writing and a score of at least 8 for both speaking and listening. 
the IELTS test scores must appear on a single IELTS TRF and be the result of a test undertaken during the 24-month period prior to submitting an application. Question number five that I have is, should I do a diploma or bachelor's in hospitality management after certificate four in commercial cookery? So once you've done a certificate four in commercial cookery, you could apply for a temporary graduate visa subclass 485 as long as your certificate four was for two years. So if your certificate four was not for two years, then you could go and do a diploma in hospitality management to be able to then get a subclass 485 visa on which you will be doing a job ready program. Question number six that I have is, what trade course should I study on a student visa? Now, there are many high demand trade occupations like carpentry, bricklaying, commercial cookery, bricklayer, welder, and few more. Now, we recently made a video on my recommended trade courses to study. I will put the link in the description below. So these are all the questions that I wanted to answer relating to study matters for international students in Australia. So if you're someone who is looking for advice regarding their enrollment or study in Australia, please get in touch with us. We are currently offering free consultations for applicants who are in Australia. Stay updated about Australia's immigration. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel.